So with that, there are about three months of riding this 84 volt Nikola. The part that uh, is very rarely talked about. Well, let's get into it. already to change the tire one thing I've learned about uh, owning one of these is that whether you are mechanically inclined or not you will be opening this up uh, sooner than later so uh, expect that you know um, some people even opening up the first day they get them. I waited three months until my tire got bald. You see it's pretty bald. And um, I'm going to try to turn, change the tire. I've watched uh, videos from guys like Marty who uh, have changed a lot of different tires. So we're gonna see how this goes. to the battery and that causes it uh, not to come on but here we go this battery unhooked out of here uh, that was kind of hard to come up out of there too Okay, we got all our connectors off. I put tape on them just to be safe. I don't, I'm not an electrician, so I really don't know how that's supposed to go. With our, all the wires are off on this side. Make sure you take your time and take that off with silicone. 
I used uh, I sprayed it with just a tab of WD-40 and let it sit pretty much peeled it off pretty good WD-40 peel silicone off pretty good connectors are disconnected and um, ready to come through the chute here okay got the wheel off I ended up having to ask my friend to give me a hand he pulled it out and I scrolls it open that was very hard I think you need two people for that Some have, somebody has to be prying it open while the other person pulls it out of here get it out of that hole there because it's very hard if you don't so next steps will be to start the wheel and get that going Up closer, we're gonna go over everything we just did to disassemble this here 84 nickel. Ooh. We took uh, the battery apart. Connectors apart, and just one on. This one, and that one. And when you take those off, you have to pull up and kind of turn. Squeeze in, turn, pull up. Turn, pull up. Squeeze in, turn, pull up. It's important you know that so you don't mess them up. I'd use the WD-40 on this. I kind of just, on the silicone, just kind of rubbed it on my finger and rubbed it on there a few times. And laid it in. It ate the silicone up pretty good where I could just pull that out. Like I said, I rubbed it on my finger again, rubbed it on the silicone there and pulled that one out. And, um, that came out pretty good that way. These rubber pieces, took those out so we can take the plug, plug in piece that goes in here out. I took the LEDs, I didn't cut them. I just took it over everything and left them like that. The rubber seal goes on the outside and the LEDs right on the outside. Pretty dirty inside. You can see. I'm gonna wipe it out. Basically, did the same thing on the other side. Didn't have to take the cap off of this. I did have to have my buddy pull this out as I pried it open to get the uh, bolt over this hole. I pried it open and he pulled it out for me. So beware of that. And this piece here is very hard to come out for the first time. It's almost going to feel like 
you're breaking it but I guess that's what it takes that type of string so just wanted to go over it real quick and uh, we're gonna sew everything up and put the tire back on see you later okay so finally got the wheel back on and I'm just gonna say to you it was an experience um, it's not the easiest thing but it's not the hardest thing either well I just want to say this I just want to say this for a minute before, before I go to doing anything else when you buy one of these wheels you know you look on YouTube you see the guys riding around having fun just riding expect to be the owner and what I mean by that is expect to be the person that does the repair don't expect to send it off every time something happens to it expect to be the person to be the one that has to fix it and I'm saying that to say yes they have a warranty yes Jason will get with you and you know but you become the owner and an owner fix things people who rent they call the owner why so the owner can fix it once you buy this and so um, be prepared to fix it be prepared to open it up and um, do what's necessary uh, yeah Jason will uh, assist as much as he can as much as he can understand you having a problem whatever you having a problem with but yeah prepare to be the owner and the owner fix stuff renters call the owner so that the owners can fix it this is how the tire ended up looking you see our ball head that is don't ride your tire down like this this is rid written down like this was rolled down like this because I just wanted to be the renter I didn't want to be the owner I didn't want to have to open it up and do what's necessary as an owner of one of these wheels and so the, the math of thinking you can just rent rent and ride you can't rent and ride you have to be willing to do the maintenance so I just wanted to point that out because when I started watching these videos all I thought about was the fun I never thought about me being the repair person so yes we're gonna go ahead and put it back together and um, see how everything works and uh, I just wanted to point that out that you become the repair person alright in a minute guys okay so the wheels back in I wasn't gonna video two two dudes brooding up a, a unicycle wheel ain't nobody got time for that so uh, here we are I did have to pry it open again and my buddy slid it down and I slowly and easy got the wires out as carefully as I could okay so we got it all back put together uh, this part here, I don't have it looking neatest, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, got that in, three connectors, got all the screws in, got tape with silicone over that, put silicone on the side. I didn't gulp it like they did, because I know I'll be in, in it soon again, but I put a nice amount on there. Um, Put all the seals back on. Uh, next to it. Yeah, put all that in. 
Uh, basically, it looks like we're about to connect the battery wire back, turn it over, and do the same thing on that side. Sew that up, and um, I guess be done with it. That'll be alright. It was just sitting in here like this, and I got it. So I'm assuming that's gonna be alright. Okay, guys, this tire has truly whooped me. I mean, it has beat me up. I am exhausted, and you will be exhausted too if you change one of these tires on these unicycles. So. About to turn it on and see what happens. Uh, again, like I said, uh, I had bought this unicycle three months ago. Uh, a month and a half after I bought the control board, went out, sent it back to Jason. Jason and them then uh, changed everything out. Uh, I had white, uh, the white rim Nicola. When, I, when they brought it back to me, it was uh, the black, all black which I appreciated that and it fixed my handle because my other one had a bad handle but I was able to no longer listen to my Bluetooth uh, couldn't listen to any Bluetooth music when I turned the Nikola on it didn't even make the Nikola sound so um, I, I, I didn't I, I was appreciative that I didn't have to hear that Nikola noise but it compromised my Bluetooth I turned, I opened it up. I found the wire on the other side that wasn't connected. Uh, hopefully, that was the wire to the Bluetooth. Um, Jason, them haven't got back with me about it yet, and I've sent them a picture of the wire that was loose. But I did get in touch with uh, 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 Marty Blake, and M Marty responded back to me on some other other information. Uh, he's been a good customer service, no no offense to E Wheels, but he's really been getting back with me um ASAP when I ask him a question, I'm able to uh continue my task from his answers. So I really appreciate that, Marty. Uh well let's turn it on and see what happens. Well, nope, that wasn't the wire because I still don't get my nickel noise, so I'm pretty sure that means the Bluetooth wire is still not connected. So whatever that wire was that I did connect is the who knows what it went to. Uh, but it I wasn't gonna put the wheel back together with it being disconnected. So um yeah. So there we have it. Tire change on the Nikola 84 volt. All right, guys. If you like what you what you've seen, sub subscribe subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll try to keep having more content for you.